Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 22, verses 49 to 51 today. We're in the Garden of Gethsemane. The mob has arrived. Judas just came up to give Jesus a big kiss. And let's see what happens next. When those around him saw what was going to happen, they said to him, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus answered and said, Permit even this, and he touched his ear and healed him. Just an interesting, just a momentary vignette right here. They're coming now, they're physically taking Jesus, they're going to grab him. And in the process, Jesus' followers, uh, they ask a question, but before they can really sort it out, they've, you know, they're slashing. And uh, off comes the ear. So, uh, yeah, somebody really meant something serious there. I mean, they're, they're, they might not have been aiming for the ear. Might have been aiming for the neck. But they're trying to defend Jesus. But Jesus says, hold on, hold on. And he stops and he restores the ear. It just here is the total contrast between those who would suppress truth, those who would who would destroy, and those and he who would heal, he who loves truth, he who would be willingly die on the cross for that whole mob if they would just uh, be willing to turn to the Father. And so, friends, Jesus here totally shows the opposite spirit as the mob, and he he's they're going to take him away. But first, he heals this guy. I wonder what that guy was thinking. I wonder what that guy was feeling. Uh, when he got his ear cut off, that was probably a moment of uh, pretty extraordinary pain and and thinking, oh, no, I'm going to have be my ear will be gone the rest of my life if I don't bleed to death right now. But then Jesus goes and heals him. And as they're taking Jesus away, I wonder what the, the ear guy, I wonder what I wonder what he was thinking about Jesus when his ear was restored just like that. I hope we meet him in the kingdom. The ear guy. That's who Jesus is. He's a restorer and a healer. He's not a destroyer. Even those who come to drive nails through his hands and crucify him and give him the most torturous death that they can give him, he pauses just long enough to restore the ear. Jesus always wants our ears to be restored. Are your ears restored? Let's pray. Father in heaven, help us to hear your word. Help us to respond to your truth. Help us to respond to your mercy. Here's a case of mercy today. And in that garden, in that mob situation, Jesus pauses to, because he's compassion itself and he restores the ear. Help us, Lord, to use the ears you've given us to hear your compassion, hear your mercy, and then to express that out into this tired world. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's use these ears to understand God's truth and then to put it into practice day by day in our lives. God's blessing be upon you this day.